Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. I'm just taking another look at my dad's uh, Akai 4000DS Mark II. Sadly my dad isn't with me anymore. He passed away about two and a half years ago. But he did leave me a good bit of kit behind. I've still got the original handbook for it. Um, which is in good condition. Um, it's quite a good read. It's all all about the machine. He's even got the warranty card in there which he filled in at the time. But uh, what also I've got is the original bill of sale, which he, uh, he bought the machine from PSB of uh, Weatherby, Yorkshire. And uh, from what I can tell, he put a deposit down on the 10th of January 1976 of £30. And then paid the balance on the 2nd of February 1976 for £86. So this machine... Back in 1976, cost £116. By, that was a lot of money back then for a machine. But he must have saved up for it and really wanted it. Seen it in the window many times from what my mother's told me. And uh, he bought it. Anyhow, we're going to have a quick look at it over here. Which I've still got it. Um, I've just took the cover off. Just so I can uh, thread it a bit easier. But uh, we'll play an album. Or a song from that period in time, Dire Straits, and uh, see what it sounds like. Here we go. It's got really good bass on this machine, it sounds excellent. Six play night, do anything for you. Anything you want. One thing breaking my heart. One thing should be one. There it is, Dire Straits, I think it's the 1977 album being played on a 1976 Akai 4000DS Mark II. It used to belong to my dad, uh, he used to play it all the time when I was a kid, back in the 70s, late 70s. I uh, can't believe it's 42 year old now and it still runs and sounds the good as, as good as the day he bought it. Anyhow, um, if you can pick up one of these second hand on eBay or something, they're a great little reel-to-reel -reel machine. Sound absolutely fantastic. Anyhow, that's it for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.